course, what they're they're citing is, well, Apple intelligence, right? Visual intelligence can Mm. be great for that. You just think of the practicality of trying to get, you know, moving your arm out and getting it in frame, take a picture of this. It just seems really awkward, but who knows? Maybe they can make it happen. What I've learned, and I'll talk about this maybe a bit later, um, what I've learned recently is that I think I'm looking straight ahead all the time, but I'm not, apparently. That's Mm. something I'm not good at doing. Um, yes. And whenever you use any of these devices that require you to look straight at something, and usually a lot of these low vision devices, if they're, you know, I, I want to think about OrCam, My Eye Pro, that kind of thing, which requires you to look at a piece of paper. I'm, I think I am looking at this piece of paper. Yes. But my head definitely. is off to the side and it's just not getting the, the traction on it. That's something I think that assistive tech companies have to figure out because the answer is not always just on your head. It's like, yeah, that's not how it works. I yeah. think I am looking straight. So it's not going to, you know, I've done that for 40 odd years so you know that's not going to well, change that's, overnight that's, that's where something like the metas are pretty good but there are limitations to that the field of view is very wide yes. so as long as you're you think you're facing the, the, general, the general direction, direction you're yeah. going to catch it but of course that makes it the 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 reading text far more difficult because of the way the lenses are so it's um yeah it's a balancing act i want to mention this other story um, 